guys. Today I want to show you through the 2020 Keystone Raptor 415 toy hauler. This toy hauler is 44 feet long, weighing in at just over 15,000 pounds dry. It's a nice 6.0. We've got triple air conditioners on this uh, this Raptor here. We've got beautiful frameless dual pane windows, an Onan 5500 watt generator up front, dual 30 gallon fuel station or propane station, sorry, and as well as the upgraded Rotoflex pin box up front here. Now that's got a pivoting head that's going to reduce some of the chucking when stopping and starting. Now a nice thing to mention as well, our Raptor does a beautiful fiberglass front cap with some LED accent lights. Now we just don't paint those caps in-house to ensure you get a nice rich shine for years to come. Making our way down this side of the RV, one thing I want to touch on as well is our new graphics package that we're doing this year that's offering a five-year warranty on those graphics as well. So we're back on those graphics because they know they're going to look sharp for years to come. disconnect as well as our pools and drains and fill station. Just to the side we'll have our 12 gallon water heater, 35,000 BTU furnace as well as the exhaust port for our generator up front. Now making our way down the RV, next thing I want to touch on is our triple axle design here giving you that added stability with this little coach. Now in between the axles we've got the trail air suspension system to help reduce some of those road vibrations and some of the harder impacts that you might find on some of those backcountry roads. You'll also notice those frameless dual pane windows again that I mentioned up front. So that's going to help uh, extend that camping season a little bit, reduce some of the moisture if you're in the, in doing some fridge camping, as well as it gives it a nice curb appeal. Now, last thing on this back corner, we've got our dual 30 gallon fuel station. The front tank's going to be for that generator up front, and then we've also got a 30 gallon accessory tank for the boys to keep you fueled up on some of those longer trips. Lastly, we'll have the stunning patio package back here. The patio is rated for 1,500 pounds with a couple legs set up, so you can have the whole family up there, maybe have the barbecue going, and just enjoy uh, get on the line after a nice day out on the trails. So here we are at the rear entrance into the Raptor 415. I'll invite you guys in, let's check this thing out. So the first thing you're going to notice coming in here is a massive 15 foot garage bay that we've got. At the rear, of course, we've got our opposing sofa, uh, sofa beds here, makes into an extra clean. We've got the queen bunk above, and I mean lastly, just to touch, we've got the freestanding table that'll sit in, in between these sofas if you want to have uh, a nice meal back here and enjoy the view. Now, right below, we've got a great storage tote with a metal container, great for straps, oil, things of that nature that you don't want leaking inside the RV or damaging anything else. Out here on the rear patio, we've got a stunning awning, closing everything off, giving you some protection from the elements. We've got the railing, and as well as a access door with the staircase that'll get you up and off the deck without having to run inside. Now, we've got our three season patio doors here as well that are able to close off this patio area. If you want to have some guests sleeping back here, and they do have windows in them if you want to let that breeze come on in. Now, I'll let you guys back inside. And we'll make our way towards the living space where we're going to notice our entertainment center with a pull down TV. And just above me is the third air conditioner on this unit that's proprietary to the garage area. So you're never going to have fumes wafting from the garage into the RV. Separate to the garage, and the front two are going to be primary for the living space. Now, just behind me is our washer dryer prep, as well as our half bath with a porcelain toilet, nice little sink and banjo counter. For the floor in our garage in the Raptor, we've got 5,000 pound frame welded tie downs as well as a one inch thick subfloor. So after bringing the side by side or the quad in and out over years, you're not going to have any soft spots as this thing's built to last. Now we'll jump into the living space and go through this area here. First thing you'll notice is our entertainment center with a 50 inch high definition TV, LED fireplace below that. And then, of course, our Thomas Paine reclining sofa just adjacent from that area. This Thomas Paine sofa does have the heated and massaging options, as well as some LED lights below to give you a nice accent. Uh, now we'll make our way into the island kitchen, where we've got unique bar stools that Raptors come out with that quickly fold up to 
give you a nice area to sit and have a meal at the island instead of going out back and they very quickly fold and sew away. Now you'll notice just behind me we've got this beautiful counter space up front with a deep stainless steel sink, high rise residential faucet, lots of cabinets and they're very deep cabinets is that. Uh, one thing to point out, we've got soft close hidden hidden cabinetry in our Raptors as well. So years down the line, you're not going to be having to readjust these hinges as often as you would slam in the old cupboard style. Now just behind me we've got our 30 inch convection microwave, 22 inch Furion oven, and our 18 cubic foot Norcold gas electric refrigerator. So lots of capacity in there if you're doing some extended trips and you don't want to be running to the store to replenish some of those perishables. Behind that, we've got a great size pantry for some, maybe some noodles, bags of chips, anything like that you're bringing out with you, but a vast compartment there with lots of overhead storage as well. Now, we'll do a 180 here. I'll invite you guys up front. We'll check out that master bedroom. So we were in the hallway headed upstairs. One thing to point out is our in-command automation system or control panel for this RV. Now you're able to control your generator, awnings, slides, lights, HVAC, jacks, and more. Uh, now they've also got an integrated app that you can download on the mobile devices. So you can set this coach up uh, sitting from a chair if you really wanted. Uh, it's also nice if maybe you got to run into town, you want to fire up the generator, turn on the air conditioner, because maybe the dog's hanging out in the back. Now, just behind me, we'll make our way into the bathroom where we've got a great size linen closet, as well as a porcelain toilet just on the far side. We've also got a great size mirrored vanity and medicine cabinet here, as well as a great size walk-in shower just to the right of the, the vanity there. Now making our way into the master bedroom here, we've got the wardrobe slide just to my right where we've got mirrored cabinets with a hanging rod for all your coats, sweatshirts, things of that nature that you want to hang up and get out of the way. We've also got a great size cabinet over here and a large bank of drawers for everything else you're bringing along. Now we've got the king size bed here as well. So lots of space for you guys to get comfy and enjoy if it's maybe a cool rainy evening. You'll notice the third air conditioner up here as well. And then you also notice nightstands on each side of the bed with some power plugs and USBs to keep your mobile devices charged up. Lastly, on the front wall of the master bedroom, we've got a third entertainment center. If you want to put on a movie and hang out in bed one night, you do have that option. So thanks for stopping by today, guys. My name is Travis from Arcan RV and Carstairs. This is our 2020 Keystone Raptor 415. Thank you for your time. We'll look forward to hearing from you soon.